Okay, so let's solve this problem. So list the first three terms of the arithmetic sequence if the 25th term is 35 and the 38th term is 5. Since on this problem, there is no given first term, so we're going to use this formula, that's a sub n equals a sub m plus the quantity of n minus m times the common difference and take note that n is greater than m. So from this given, we have this 25th term, so a sub 25 equals 35, then the 38th term, that's a sub 30 equals 5, then observe this 25 and 30, and we all know that 30 is greater than 25, so therefore this 30 is n, and this 25 is m, so this a sub 25 is a sub m, and a sub 30 is a sub n. So to find out the common difference, so just substitute all these values. So a sub n, that's 5, then equals a sub m, that's 35, then plus n, and n is 30, then minus m, that's 25 times the common difference. Then transpose this positive 35, so this becomes negative 35, then equals 30 minus 25, that's 5 times the common difference, and this 5 minus 35, that's negative 30, then equals 5 times the common difference, then to solve for the common difference, so divide both sides by 5. So therefore, D or the common difference is negative 6. So this time, to find out the first three terms of this arithmetic sequence, so that's A sub 1, A sub 2, and A sub 3. So to solve for A sub 1, we're going to use this formula, then in the given, this a sub n, that's the last term, the 38th term. So a sub n equals, the last term is 5, and this n, the number of terms, since 38th term, so therefore n is equal to 30. Then for a sub 1, this one is the unknown, and for the common difference, that's the negative 6. So we have negative 6. So to solve now for the first term, that's a sub 1. So we have a sub n, that's 5, equals a sub 1 plus n is 30. Then minus 1 times the common difference, that's negative 6. Then to simplify, so we have 5, then equals a sub 1, then plus this 30 minus 1, that's 29 times negative 6. So we have 5, then equals a sub 1, then plus this 29 times negative 6. So 29 times negative 6 equals, that's negative 174. So negative 174. So to solve for a sub 1, so transpose this negative 174. So that becomes 5, then plus 174 equals a sub 1. So therefore, a sub 1 equals, so this 5 plus 174, that's 179. So this is now the value 
for the first term. Then to solve for the second term, that's a sub 2. So we're going to use this formula that a sub 1 plus the common difference. Then substitute now the value. So a sub 1 is 179 plus the common difference. That's negative 6. So therefore, a sub 2, we have 179 minus 6. That's 173. So this one is for the second term. And for the third term, that's a sub 3. So using this formula, that a sub 2 plus the common difference. So a sub 2 is 173 plus the common difference, that's negative 6. So therefore, a sub 3, so this 173 minus 6, that's 167. So this is now the value for the third term. So these are the first three terms of this arithmetic sequence. 179, 173, and 167.